Hello friends, Teshni here, welcome back to the channel. So this is gonna be part three of my capsule wardrobe series. So if you haven't seen the first two episodes where I break down how to build a capsule wardrobe from scratch, make sure you go ahead and check out those videos here and the link will be in the description box. So today it's gonna to be my full capsule wardrobe. So we're gonna start from top and we're gonna work our way to bottom. So starting with the tops and I really want to inject some more feminine pieces so the first things for me are nice tops that you can wear with jeans and just denim and throw over like a light coat. So the first one here is the sort of brought this top from a company called Brora. I never heard of them until my mother-in-law introduced me, bless her. This is a 100% silk and I just love the cut and it's very very feminine, very much um, pair with a nice jeans or even some trousers for work. I also have this sort of burgundy red one from H&M which I bought recently. Similar style but two different qualities. One's 100% silk and I think one's like polyester. I'm really trying to transition into like nicer quality items but it is a process guys. I also have some more. I may show you in the cutaway but those are for me like nice top feminine tops and nice jeans combo that you can pair with a trench coat or like a light jacket. Something more free and relaxed. That's the kind of vibe I'm going for. And notice guys that I have a lot of patterns, prints and different colours going on here. So for me, I want to make sure I'm injecting a lot of colour because I love how colour affects my mood. Next, in sticking with tops, I have this bodysuit, this brown bodysuit that I got from H&M. Um, I'm glad that brown is on trend right now because I've had this for a while. And I love this for going out. It looks really nice with like a denim jeans, maybe even a skirt, but I think more jeans. And it's just a really nice brown bodysuit. It's more, a bit more sexy, a bit more going out. I have a hanger with all my basic tan tops. I don't necessarily reach for them as much, but the weather has been really warm outside. So these are, you know, the blacks, the whites, the greys, all the sort of like neutral pieces that I can build. I have this short sleeve kind of grey turtleneck that I reach for um, every year. The next thing for me is a red top. Oh, I'm going to find this red top, guys. This is from Uniqlo. This is like their merino wool. And this is a trend that I'm definitely gravitating towards because I just love how it looks on my skin tone. Oh, I feel like it's so beautiful. And I also have this black merino wool long sleeve top. Again, from Uniqlo, it's an all year round proper basic. Now the last two, because I do have a lot of tops, <laughs> it is a classic white shirt. And for me, I'm gonna take a different approach to my classic white shirt. For example, I'm wearing this one right here. This is from H&M. This and I love the sleeve. This is 100% cotton and it's oversized, relaxed, a strong v-neck. Cause I realize I love a good v-neck. I didn't know it before, but here I am. This is just giving me Count Dracula vibes. I just, I feel like I just need some fangs and I'm good for Halloween. I don't know, but I love this. It's very extra. It's just so extra and it's just relaxed and I feel very really comfortable in it. And it still is a white shirt type. I feel like this will layer really nicely as well with like a jumper on top. I think I did it last year actually. I layered a jumper on top, a v-neck jumper and with some leggings and some boots and I think I'm good. I don't have any leggings at the moment but um, that is the plan is to layer this and I'll, I can wear this really easy. If I don't want to iron it, I can just kind of steam the front part, you know what I mean? And just kind of wear it over. I have a black um, t-shirt from Primark. It's like a graphic tee. I love a good graphic t-shirt, but at the moment my struggle is when I put like a jacket on top, they start to shift and move. So I'm on the lookout for, for something that's a bit more sturdy. I may look in the menswear section because I think the fabric is more heavyweight. But for now, I'm gonna kick it with this black one until I can do better when it comes to graphic t-shirts. So for now, I have two shirts. So I have this dark navy blue from Uniqlo. It is corduroy material. I also have a denim shirt, a blue denim shirt from Topman. This was given to me by my friend. It is a men's um, top, 
but again these two shirts i know i can layer and get the most out of especially as we move into the colder season First off, I have this blush pink one from Uniqlo, which I picked up recently because I've been doing a lot of Uniqlo shopping, you can tell. I feel like it goes really nice. It's a baby pink with lots of different things. It's lighter. It will be great for spring as well. Next up, I have this nude version as well from Uniqlo. Um, again, this is a pretty high neck, goes with jeans, denim, whatever the case is, or skirts. I also have this burnt orange one. It's like a zip neck here. It did come in a set, but I didn't get the set. I just got the top just to see. But I love orange. Orange is my favorite color. Orange and pink are my favorite colors. So I almost forgot the last one. Oh my God, how did I forget this? The last one I absolutely love is my green roll neck from Marks and Spencers. This is a beautiful, bright, vi more vibrant green, a bit more saturated in color. And I just love it. I It's a great way to add a pop of color. I feel like it looks really nice with like a red lipstick, especially held up against my skin tone. I have quite a few cardigans. So I'm gonna start off with the most new in piece. The new one for me is this yellow, this kind of buttery yellow you can see right there. This is very much a grandpa cardigan, very grandpa. <laughs> but I love a good grandpa chic, you know what I mean? The reason why I got this is because I had my yellow shirt in the summer, linen shirts, so I'll insert like a picture here or something. And I wore this linen shirt so much so I'm like, okay, I actually do like the color yellow. It's on trend, but I've worn it so much, so therefore I can justify getting a yellow cardigan, you know. I also have this retro burgundy, orangey, I don't know, like very much stereotypical autumnal colors. And I did get this in a vintage pop-up store. I also have this black and white one from River Island. I feel like this is a really cozy, very much wider sleeves and I can wear this on its own. I don't have to wear anything in, in it as well. Now, the next category, I wanted to just show you how I'm injecting my personality into my capsule wardrobe. This is gonna be through like things like this. These are vest tops. I got this very much retro type waistcoat that you've seen. Um, it reminds definitely, I told you, I showed you guys my inspiration board, my mood board, and I had like, very much 90s fresh prints all that going on here so i feel like this that i have with a black shirt a roll neck tail neck whatever the case is throw on a vest coat or waistcoat on top or even like a um knitted vest as well and I I feel like a suit is a perfect way to add one item and you can wear it in multiple ways. So this checkered blazer and tapered trousers, I know I can wear them both as separates. The blazer I wear a lot, which you'll see, and obviously my tapered trousers I can wear a lot. For dresses, I have a few that I took from summer to transition over into fall. I have this blue dress that I got from Marks and Spencers. I love the silhouette of this. I feel like it fits my body shape really nicely. And yeah, V-neck, I didn't, re yeah, V-neck. <laughs> Give me a little bit of shoulders and it balances out my hips because I, I am a hourglass figure. Hourglass, more, more slim hourglass. There's different types of hourglass. And so yeah, that's the one I'll be wearing. Denim jacket, leather jacket, there's trench coat. There's so many things you can just put on top and maybe wear it with boots if it's colder and it, maybe it tights underneath if the weather gets, you know, cold. I also have the black and white knit um, basic dress that I got from H&M. It's such a basic, honestly, you just lay anything on top and you're good to go. So that's that. <laughs> I have a short knitted dress that I got, um, a knitted dress, it's oversized, I think I want to get it tailored but again I can wear it with boots or I can belt it and put a blazer on top. I have a lot of skirts, so I have a lot of midi skirts and things that are quite like, I have the satin midi skirt, I have a black midi skirt, so those are like workhorses in my all year round capsule new in i have this brown pleated skirt that i got from uniqlo this is a uniqlo c collection and i just love this i think it pairs beautifully with so many different things like pinks reds like nudes 
I love this skirt so much. It's really comfy and it's definitely my style because it's just relaxed and, you know, really chic. I also have mini skirts. I'm on the lookout for a black mini skirt. This orange um, corduroy skirt that I thrifted, I wear it all year round. It is a workhorse for me. So these are the main skirts for me that I'll be wearing a lot on rotation. Hey guys, Future Teshna here. I completely forgot to mention for at leisure, I always gravitate towards this sweatshirt that I got from Primark for running errands or off to the gym or whatever the case is. And these leather joggers, oh my God, I bring them out every year because they're super, super comfy and easy to wear. The next section for me are bottoms. So when it comes to denim, I actually don't wear as much denim as I think. I have this blue... Um, mid-wash denim which I would recommend I'm trying to get a Levi's but we're not there yet this one from Zara I had it tailored recently so I tailored it in the waist and I also hemmed the leg it was frayed but I it got on my nerves so I just changed it <laughs> I have this um, wide leg denim jeans which is more I wear it more on dressy occasions if I'm being honest if I'm going out in the evenings it's from mango it's all indigo it's um it kind of nods to retro when I pair it with certain tops. So I have those denim jeans. I also have a black um, kind of grey washed um, mom jeans that I wear all the time. It's just a go to for me. It looks really nice with blazers. So those are three um, dark blue, mid wash blue and a black mom jeans. Next up is pants i have a black pants which i'm really happy about these black trousers i should say i got recently from river island and these were to replace my cos trousers which i mentioned were too short for me in my recent video so these ones are super comfy they're really flattering i wish the material was better it's more like a polyester but it just drapes really nicely so for outerwear i've already mentioned my blazers The only thing I have is a crop jacket from Cuz, which I absolutely love. It's more boxy. It's very much on the androgyny side. And I also have my trench coats. Trench coats, I have this black one from Mango, which is new in. It's actually the exact same as my green olive one, but I always got this one because I love a maxi trench coat. It's just matching my style. And I have a new, I have quite a few trench coats, guys. So, um yeah so those are the ones i'll be gravitating towards right now and i have other coats but for now these are the ones i'm going to be wearing and as it gets colder i'll start to bring in the coats which i'll do an updated video on let's move on to footwear so so i have these new in boots from h&m these are oh my god pointy toe i absolutely love i've been on the hunt for it I love that it's kind of like a crop print and the heel is very low. I also have a chunky black boots, which I've had for a while now. And I wear chunky boots a lot, surprisingly, because they're really much, they're much more edgy. I, thought I like that, I gravitate towards that. I also have a pair of pointed ankle boots from Primark. It's at its end of life right now, but let me tell you, cost per wear, I've gotten my cosplay out of these boots for years now i also have my um nude sort of like cream more like a pinky cream from shein and then doc martens guys i love my doc martens they're not the best dress i'm not gonna lie they're not dressy they're not they just look like but i will be wearing my doc martens all year round they're just a classic for me now something i forgot to mention are my pair of loafers that are really new in. These are chunky ones. I got it from TK Maxx, but I also have a cream version as well that I got from Primark. But yeah, loafers as part of the footwear. These are the main items in my capsule wardrobe. But in this video here, I'm gonna be breaking down the capsule wardrobe mistakes that I made and do's and don'ts. And we'll be talking more in detail about how you can go about building a wardrobe and what mistakes to avoid. So yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in this video here. Bye.